Right. Um, it's been suggested that someone um, answer to this uh, video and post a video response. So I'm I'm uh, willing to post a response. First of all, I want to ask what this video is supposed to prove. That you know that tanks knock down churches. That tanks are very good at blowing up uh, religious buildings. Uh, they are, yeah, they're designed to do that. They're also designed to fight other tanks. You know, when you're sitting in a tank, normally they're used not to knock down un uh, undefended buildings, but their real prime objective is to face up to other tanks. So where's your other tank? Is your heart pumping because round the corner, as in World War II, as in trying to fight against uh, Rommel's tanks. Um, uh, you know, is there the worry that round the corner will become a big German tank with very determined operators, soldiers in it, who would fight back? I mean, you know, that's scary, isn't it? Would you feel scared if you were facing another tank? If you were in that mosque praying, would you... Um, be scared or would you be killed during your prayers? And of course a lot of people would say, yeah, well they're not praying for our God, therefore they should be killed, you know. They're not um, Baptists, uh, they're probably not Catholics, you know, they're, uh, they're, 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 not, they're not tourists going in there like we go to, you know, St. Peter's in Rome and I'm not a Catholic but I've walked around St. Peter's. It would be great if uh, it was a circumstance where someone decided to to bomb um, St. Peter's in Rome. You know, the Nazis didn't even uh, bomb the cathedrals in Paris. They didn't de demolish the cathedrals in, in Paris. You know, they probably knew that it would be detestable. Of course, the, a lot of them uh, were our religion. So if it's your own religion fighting you, like the Germans who were, you know, semi-civilized, uh, well, of course, you hope they won't bomb your churches. So Paris still has a few churches and cathedrals. And um, likewise, we didn't demolish all of the German ones, but we, we did demolish Hamburg and Dresden, of course. We, you know, we, we turned people into blubber in Hamburg, where the... Um, they had to come along and shovel their parents' remains into buckets, into pails, you know. That's what they did, and of course the Germans must forgive us for that. Um, and they, of course they're all wicked, all the Germans are wicked, every single one of them. We should have killed the whole lot of them, shouldn't we? You know, never mind that some of them actually um, uh, were recruited to learn about the atom bomb and um, came in very handy uh, later on when it came to... Um, dealing with the Japanese, but never mind. The point is, though, about this uh, sitting there in your nice, safe tank or whatever it is you're in and bombing a church. I mean, why why advertise it? You know, to me, it's not a lot of different from Abu Ghraib. What you do is you show that you just uh, love the fact that you are pretty safe as such. You're pretty safe, you know. Uh, there are occasional... Uh, uh, people killed of course and I you know I think the soldier just has to do his job but there are some people who just think they're out on the back porch um, shooting at pigeons or something or tin cans you know and they they don't have any care or mentality for the fact that it's people and flesh and blood they're killing any more than um, than someone does uh, you know have not worry about killing deer I don't personally want to kill deer I don't personally want to kill much at all if I'm rearing a baby uh, blue jay at the moment um, that uh, many people would probably just sit up on a fence and and see if they can knock its head off you know there is that mentality that and there is a lot of hunting mentality I'm sure in Iraq I've just watched a video where a, a bus was um, blown up oh that was so heroic guys you know firing at that bus and blowing it up and you know good for you because you know several rounds it was a bonnie and clyde type uh thing you know just fill it full of lead and out come these bodies and after we've shot at them and pumped them full of lead let's now see if we can save them so let's set up uh sort of uh hero you know some uh, um 
ambulance uh, things and that's just the cameras rolling you know the cameras rolling so you know don't don't go and kick him in the guts or, or in the ghoulies for god's sake because the cameras run in so um let's show how heroic we are in attacking this bus and let's show it to the world and they'll realize that we're winning you know where these people are, are, are going to love us i mean the muslims are going to love the fact that their mosques are being blown up and you know all the friends of the people they've just killed on their bus whether they're guilty or innocent to me it's like shooting ducks in a barrel guys so let's not get too heroic about it you know how about the next world war where you've got people contesting you you know world war two was a world war and that was heroic and there were lives lost in the falklands war which is a stupid war to me anyway over territory but you know there was a lot of soldiers said yeah rub your hands together we've got a war to go to and if you want to see what war is really like i suggest you google simon weston simon weston then get the real facts about war is like and the fact that he his face is really and what he's had to undergo in terms of pain after being uh, uh, i think it was on uh, hms galahad when a, an exocyte exocyte missile hit them but you know it's not such a a, 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 f a fun experience guys that you want to make a video of it when the other person's got an air force a navy and an army and tanks so, you know, get over it, but I don't think you want to be showing this stuff to the world any more than you want to be showing what goes on in Guantanamo or what goes on or what went on in Abu Ghraib. Forget it. This does not earn merits. This is not heroic. And this does not uh, uh, lessen the amount of terrorism. It increases it. You are showing Muslims why they should give up their bodies and strap stuff on to kill people. That is what these videos do. Thank you.